Hey folks, <clears throat> hope everybody's doing well. Got a quick little yabo I want to get out there. You can tell by my background here, rather hazy. We're dealing with all these fires pretty much uh, close enough to make life interesting. Uh, we're not in any danger of being consumed by fire but we're right in the path of all the smoke and ash um, it's completely off in the distance over there completely overcast and there's not a cloud in the sky but, uh, and it smells like a barbecue right next door here to me but anyway for anybody that was wondering I just got an email from uh, Onion asking me if everything was okay so Thought I would throw that out there. Anyway, I got this package yesterday from Sea Smoke Pipes, Eric, and it's from the contest that I won last week. And I just wanted to share this with you. I think it's the coolest, coolest uh, yabo, man. So the pipe is this rustic egg, I guess you would call it. I don't know shapes, but. Uh, it almost looked, Eric's got this really unique style and you can see that in a bunch of the pipes that he's made. There's no, um, he doesn't stick to classic shapes that much. He can do them because I've seen him make quite a few, you know, billiards and stuff like that. But <clears throat> this one, when you look at the shape, it almost looks like it started out as a bulldog and he changed his mind halfway through it or something. But it's got, kind of got that little, you know angular cant at the top of it but not really it's got a really unique rustication on it I don't even know how to describe it it's just really uh, it almost looks like this the surface of a rock or something like that it's really cool and then it's got the smooth um, whatever that's called hexagonal hexagonal at the top round at the bottom really really cool it's got his stamp on the bottom there it's his initials I believe and then the stem also where the stem goes in it's got you know it shows the grain a little bit on there really cool I've smoked this once so it might be kind of dirty but that stem uh, mortise or whatever it's called is very reminiscent of um, Joe Davis's and I like the way that looks fits perfect it's nice and nice and snug not tight not loose or anything the stem itself is kind of a hexagon round shape kind of like it follows the the pattern of this slight bend in it and the button is almost non-existent he said he doesn't normally like to get them that small and that's kind of why this was a giveaway pipe because it wasn't what he was normally doing but I'm I'm gonna tell you man this thing is so incredibly comfortable in your mouth it almost feels like there's nothing there and it just smokes itself I smoked it last night I mean, it literally just, uh, it's so smooth feeling. It's a really, really, really well-constructed pipe. If you guys have been thinking about getting one of his pipes, and I can't speak for any of them besides this one, I have never heard anybody say anything bad about them, but if they smoke as good as this one, you're going to enjoy it. Trust me. This is a fantastic smoking pipe. Uh, effortless, I mean. And then he also sent me the other part of his name, Sea Smokes Pipes and Pottery. Sent me this great mug, which I have already used this morning. It's had coffee in it. The inside follows the shape of the outside. Uh, really, really cool. It's got his nomenclature on the bottom. I misread that when I first saw it 
and it says E Weaver. I thought it said Evil Weave. <laughs> anyway, it's a really cool mug. It's not too heavy. It's got it's really light. It's got you know thick enough walls not to worry about breaking it, but thin enough so it doesn't weigh a ton. Uh, the handle on it feels really nice in your hand, and it holds a lot of coffee. I, my BRTV mug fills up about that far from the top on my coffee maker, Keurig. This one on that same setting just barely makes it to that first hump there. It holds a lot of coffee. So he sent me that. He also sent me this uh, really cool double-sided tamper that he made. Those two things fit together perfectly. I think he showed that in one of his live videos. Really, really cool. I'd tell you what they were, but I can't see them. That one is a 30-30. This one's a 270. So 270 and a 30-30 stuck together perfectly. I imagine he glued that in some way. But yeah, cool little tamper. And then he also sent he sent me a, a little note, a really nice note. Speaking highly of the YTPC, so you guys got mentioned in that. A sticker, a couple little card kind of things, and he sent me a tin of tobacco that wasn't really included in the giveaway, but some small batch San Sepulcro, Cornell and Deal. This is from uh, April of 2019. I have another tin of this that somebody gifted me. John Laughlin gifted me from a contest winning last year from 2019. So I'm gonna crack this puppy open and see what it's all about in a little bit if the smoke doesn't overtake me. Strange, the sun shining over here on this driveway beside me has a, it doesn't look the way it normally looks. It's got kind of a an orange tint to it and it's, it's coming straight down it's almost noon here so that's it's interesting it's going to be interesting when the wind picks up later today and starts blowing all the ash and stuff in um, i have a feeling we're going to get some of that because the the fire that's producing all this smoke is only about 12 miles away from me and there's nothing in between me and it so anyway you guys take it easy thanks eric so much if you guys are looking for a good pipe or some good pottery get in contact with him because I can vouch for its quality, quality stuff. I absolutely love that stuff. So thanks again, Eric. You guys go to sub his channel, Sea Smoke Pipes and Pottery or Sea Smoke Pipes on YouTube. I think it's Sea Smoke Pipes and Pottery on Instagram. Uh, look him up. Well worth following. Cool dude. Does some lives. Uh, I enjoy his friendship. So you guys go check him out. I'm going to go smoke some San Sepulcro unless this, uh, unless I get smoked out by this fire crap. So take it easy. I've rambled long, long enough. <laughs>